Hey folks, this is the uh, American second mission of the Rogue Campaign. Um, this mission is actually really difficult. Um, let me just explain what's happening here. The enemy has to capture this target area. Uh, all they have to do is put a unit on the square. And they do that by assaulting with these infantry units. So you kind of have to keep the enemy away from it because if they assault it and they win the assault and kick you out of it, you lose the mission just immediately. Um, the other problem is your positioning is kind of awkward. Um, over here is a nice patch of uh, forest. Um, the issue is that these uh, uh, motorbikes can kind of curve around and start shooting at you from the back line. Uh, their infantry do have grenades, so you don't want to bunch up in there, which is why I've spread them out into four square, or I guess four edges of a square. Um, let's see what other problems have. Oh yeah, the tank. So they have a tank also. Now the first time I played this map, I actually destroyed the tank in one shot with my bazooka. Um, even though I did that though, I still ended up losing because an infantry unit assaulted the building and took it over. Um, one thing you do have going in your favor is the building itself. Um, who's ever inside of it has a high defense rating. I put my commander in there because he has a naturally high defense rating. Um, and you also have a, bu uh, a, def a defensive position, a def po. Um, now those give you a tax of opportunity, so anybody who moves within range of that unit uh, will be fired upon. So I've decided to put my MG in there. Now, MGs can die in one hit, but if he survives, he can do a lot of damage because he can mitigate anybody that's crossing over this terrain. Now if he dies, I can move somebody else into the, into the area. I've also placed my bazooka right here. Um, he's in ambush mode, so hopefully the tank will move out this way and I can shoot it. Um, potentially the tank might just stay there and shoot this building. Um, if he does that, then I'm kind of in trouble, but we'll see. Um, I know he can shoot the building from here, but I'm just hoping he'll, he'll move too. So, Also I have my mortars back here. Um, I have infantry kind of around the building in case something bad happens. Uh, the tokens I purchased were uh, grenades for starters and uh, ammunition for better rolls. Um, grenades is good because once they start getting close, I want to be going bombs away with grenades. Otherwise, I might just get wiped out. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, yep, they are going first. Which is not a problem. I'm probably going to do my mortars first. And then... All these guys. Um, actually, I think one park's going... And this guy will be bluffing. I don't want to do anything with my bazooka yet. I think next turn, if the tank moves, I'll have the bazooka go first. But, uh, yeah. So he can already fire onto the building. Um, which sucks. There's a lot of high density targets um, for the mortars to hit. Uh, oh, I'm a little bit too close. I can hit my own guy in this case. Um, let's see. There we go. I missed out on him, but I still have a lot of targets. I could potentially shoot something up here too. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, that's that's the best choice actually. Uh, let's do that. So I roll a four, and then I have to roll anything above a one to I think kill this unit actually. Nope, never mind. It's just wounded. Okay. That's a good start. He's gonna fire on me. Are these guys out in the open? That seemed like a high damage result. I have to wonder if it's actually good to be extremely aggressive. Um, like like rush him up there and then move one of these units into the building and then continuously cover him with MG fire. Um, let's see, he's going next, he's already gone and these two are going, or one of them is going. It's actually a very interesting idea because I feel like if he gets close enough, okay he's got ammo, because if you just sit here What's going to happen is they're just going to crash down on you. Um, at the same time, if I move him up there, uh, I would consider him to be sacrificed. Um, let's 
see. Oh man, that's a tough decision. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about it before. Um, so I move him up here. And he can't move here. I don't think anybody's in range to take this building quite yet. It's a very risky decision, but I think I'm going to go for it. The thing about these maps is that you kind of have to take risks, because if you don't, um, you're just going to lose. I got an opportunity fire, but I missed. Um, let me spot my bazooka. Wow, wow. That's really big. That really sucks. That's horrible. <laughs> Look, and then he backs out. Oh man, that's so bad. Okay, get rid of him. I attacked him instead of that one because this guy could potentially move next, so. Uh, I think I'll take a shot on him because the odds are so good. I don't want to pass it up. Also, next turn I could throw a grenade with Stuart over here and damage a lot of their units. So, okay, he's moving. Actually, I don't know if I can enter the house from the back side. So I might have just lost the game. <laughs> um, trying to think. No, I can. Okay. Well, okay. I need to take that in consideration. So the actual doorway is on the front. So yeah, that was close. Uh, bazooka guy has been spotted. I feel like I want to just block this guy off, um, so I just sacrifice him. And let's see the support or fire unit. I think I'm okay with him being there. I'm gonna move this guy here. Uh, parks. Let's see. Forest. I could be a little bit more aggressive. I don't want to move them all anywhere close together because in that case, um, they're more susceptible to grenade to grenades. So I have to be careful. Okay, this guy actually doesn't have grenades. So. Which is fine. Let's see. Almost always want the mortars to shoot something. Um, support. Whoops. Oh, okay. And yeah, that's fine. Orders. For some reason his assault rate rates went down quite a bit. Okay, just kill that unit. I'm interested to see what Stewart does. Um, he's in a lot of danger. Um, The question is, do I kill this or kill that? I 
This is the much safer roll, so I'm just going to go with that. The question is because the, the MG on the motorbike can do a lot of damage, but this actual infantry unit, uh, he threatens the actual objective. So. Okay. I think I'll go with an assault. That's fine. Them out into the out of the forest. Um, proceed. Nice. This is actually going really well. My primary worry right now is the tank because it can do so much damage so easily. I mean, the trade-off with the mortars is that sometimes you just end up hitting nothing, so... I think I'm going to be aggressive again and start moving my troops up here. Uh, support's fine. Oops. I'm trying to think of a way, of, like, a way I can shoot that tank, but that's going to be very difficult. I guess I could try to move this guy over here and slowly worm my way up to, uh, this way to the tank. But, okay. The main objective here anyway is just to make sure they don't stay close to the house. Because whenever they're close to the house, that means they can take it. So, yeah. Like that. That's not good. Um, actually, let's go one, two, three. This is where it gets dangerous. Okay, let's just please kill him. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Yeah. You're seeing how hard this mission is. Um, I think I just lost actually. But to okay, wait. I have to move him down here. Like I literally can't. Okay, wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because I can't just leave the house. <sighs> no, I think I've already lost. Okay, hold on. The thing is, once the guy in the house dies, it's so hard to win once that happens. Um, because there's no other way to get inside but from the front. So... And that guy's already taken damage. If I go here... I can maybe kill this guy. No, I lose. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be really hard to beat this mission, I think. Um, it's just so difficult. Like, the amount of luck you need is ridiculous. The tank, there's a tank that starts out already shooting at the house. 
So, like, right off the bat, <laughs> you have somebody that's getting free pot shots on the house, like, every single turn. Ah, uh, just assault this thing. I'm trying to assault him and kick him out so I have somebody blocking the, the doorway. So, I think that... That doesn't... Yeah. So, every turn, there is an MG, or a tank, that's just trying to get shots at the house. Um, missing that one roll that was like 5 out of 6 is really going to hurt me too. Um, stuff like that's like really hard to come back from. Oh man. Let's see. If I can kill this guy, I think we're in a good place. Okay. But then I... Oh boy. <laughs> But then I start have to, I have to crash down on my. Um, I start have to, I have to start crashing my units down in the house. Um, otherwise, they risk taking it. So. Uh, yeah, this is not a good place. I think you just have to buy a tank when you do this mission. Um, I'm not sure there's any other way to do it. I know when I got when I first played this mission, I actually killed the tank with a shot, and even though I got that lucky, they still end up killing me. Um, this guy really hasn't done anything with his attack of opportunity, which just kind of screwed me too. This is so weird. I have to just like s sacrifice my units, like get them to come over here, and then somehow threaten to kill his tank. With this guy, I don't know. <laughs> it's desperation mode right now. All of these guys are wounded. Okay, wait. Okay. Yeah, every single unit is wounded. The thing is, I can still win if I just kill this guy. Because I've blocked off the house with all my units. Oh, I didn't take that into consideration. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Get in the house. <laughs> Just get in the house, take your nine defense, and keep your head down. That's all you need to do. You just uh, okay. try and suppress him. Okay. This is still winnable as long as the the tank doesn't kill me. Um. Okay. It's the fifty-fifty. Thing is, it's winnable, but I'm taking so many casualties. <laughs> it's like the next mission over is going to be, which I haven't even played, by the way. I don't know what's on the third mission. Like I've butted my heads against this one so many times that yeah, let's just try to do something here. Oh man. Okay. Okay. We're in a good spot. Um, this mortar needs to miss. Okay. We're still in a good spot. Uh, this fire team. Yep. Go up. You gotta kill the mortar. Who else can do stuff? Okay, this guy moves here. Not sure where he's going. 
Okay, they're going first, which is scary. Um, 